Alrighty, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94 here, back with another. Uh, back with another CJ or another reaction video. Today we're going to react. Today we're going to react to CJ, the champ. This is King Bradley, the wrath of the Air Black Air Forces. I don't know what this is. Hopefully it ain't copyrighted. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to the ring. Hey, 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 hey! Um, yes? Hey, uh, listen, kid, uh, how do I explain this? Uh, your round table, Black Air Force, Hall, Senate, whatever the hell it is? Uh, yeah, it's not ready yet. Um, excuse me, I have a trial to do today. Well, uh, the thing is, we didn't expect you to come back that fast. Because if we look at the track record back in 2022, it looks like you only uploaded like once a month. Yeah, I mean, I was in college writing too bad. It's not ready. So what does that mean? <laughs> Simple, kid. You're homeless. Man, this is some old bush. Damn. They put my boy out, man. They evicted him. Damn. But he's not ready yet. Out on the streets, homie. Well, I guess we're doing this one from the street then. <sighs> Exhibit A. Rage, it got rage. All right. <laughs> I now present to you Exhibit A. Deceiving an entire country. So in the beginning, when you see Bradley, you look at him and you're like, oh, I mean, nothing seems that bad about him. I mean, look at him. He looks like a nice old caring man and a great leader for his country. But <laughs> little did we know that behind this smile, behind this mask, there was a whole different dog in there. I mean, you could start to see the glimpses of it in the first episode. You had the freezing alchemist talking about, y'all boys don't know a damn thing about this country, do you? That so-called king, Fuhrer, whoever the hell you be following, that motherfucker is not who you think he is, I'll tell you that. And later on, when this man is on his last leg running away, he finds Bradley in a dark alley. And Bradley looking at him like, yeah, I'm about to Thomas and Martha Wayne your ass in this dark alley, boy. Damn. You can see the fear in this man's face. He is laughing hysterically because he knows <laughs> his ass is about to die. So That's he starts flight, running man. at him and Bradley's just looking at him like, <laughs> trash ass. <laughs> what are you running at me for? We and Preston. Damn. <laughs> he broke his face kills me, bro. The fact that Bro, watch this man just by unsheathing his sword is just crazy. Then after this, look at the 180 personality turn. Ah, the Illinois brothers. Hey, how y'all doing? Are y'all okay? Don't worry, the situation has been handled. I just gave him a little bit of Southern hospitality. Now run along, y'all, so I can go tell this story to my son. <laughs> yeah, that so-called son of yours, that absolute abomination of a child <clears throat> but uh anyways but well, ladies and gentlemen let's take a little look at this flashback of bradley not giving a damn so when ed was having his alchemist examination bro tried to pull a fast one to impress bradley and he's like yeah you know you should really rethink these examinations because <laughs> this would be an easy time to kill you my boy so bradley said i am not bad not bad at all kid but uh <laughs> watch your jet little nigga huh hey, hey my boy i got high hopes for you though Hell no, when this old bastard take out his sword? But no, what's even crazier? All right, before I even get into this segment though, RIP my boy Hughes, you know, he was a real nigga. And also, that nigga Envy, all my homies hate Envy. I will personally go to his funeral and take a fat stick and on that man's casket, bro. But you see, they're having the funeral for Hughes, right? So they see this man Bradley shaking over here. So you gotta be thinking when you first watching this, oh, I mean, he's just shaking because you know his comrade just died. No. This man is shaking in pure rage because Hughes' daughter is crying at her dad's funeral! Oh my god. Bruh! Fuck wrong with you, cuh? Dog is like, oh my god, this stupid little bitch don't stop. I'm stupid ass fool. That's wild. Bro, I've never seen a man get mad. 
mad at somebody for crying at their family member's funeral. But we finally get to see how ruthless this man is when he goes to hunt down greed. So bro pulls up in the sewer and says, well, 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 what the hell do we have going on down here? Looks like a fuck fist of illegal activity in my country's cities. Now I'ma need to see some IDs. <laughs> IDs? Why should I have to comply? Because motherfucker, I am the law. And when I see illegal activity in my country and they do not comply with my law, then I will have to use force and open a can of whoop ass on your dumb ass. So this man Greed keep on talking, but Bradley cuts off this man's hand, and he's like, I told you, if you don't comply, I'll have to use force. Now bring your ass over here and stop resisting. And Bradley started peeing off the floor. And he stabs this man in the neck, and he's like, yeah, you like that, boy? I told you to stop resisting. Well, then Greed I looks at Bradley's eye. He ends up realizing, oh my god, this old ass nigga's is fire. Yeah, you know who I am now, don't you, boy? Now you see, Greed, do you want to know what you are? All you are is a lazy, lousy, greedy piece of gorilla shit. Now then, you absolute waste of oxygen. How many times do I have to kill you to make you stop resisting? So then later on, Alphonse ends up seeing Greed walking like a dead man, and he just falls with a sword in his neck. And Bradley's like, and that makes 15. God damn, you're a tough cookie, aren't you, boy? This man has killed Greed 15 times. So then these other Chimera end up pulling up, and Bradley's looking at him like, what the hell are they doing? I hope they're not challenging me. Goddamn far criminal pieces of shit. I don't even know their goddamn name. So they start running out, but Bradley just made light just quick work of them. Bro, cut his big ass in the cheese cubes. So then Greed start talking again like, hey, so it looks like you made light work of my father friends. Well, I had you know they meant nothing to me, killing my possessions like that. Who do you think you are? Greed, you pathetic scum. I told you to stop resisting. So then Bradley starts blitzing him, beating the dog water out of this man. And he's like, now yeah, you stay put there, I'll be right back. So then he walks over to Al, looks at him and says, Now, Alphonse, what the hell are you doing down here dealing with these criminals? It looks like you need some help. Something's jumbled up inside of you. You got like a bad shorty sitting in there or something? So Al had the other girl, Martel, sitting in his suit. So she takes over his suit and starts choking Bradley. And Dawes just looking at her like, <laughs> Well, ain't you a stupid bitch? So he snaps the sword and kills him. Nah, bro, this man is a demon. So then some minutes later, Al ends up waking up and he starts crying because he couldn't save her. So then Bradley walks over and he's like, now, now, boys, before y'all go, I got some questions for you. Number one, what the hell were you doing down here with these criminals? Number two, did you do any illegal activities with these criminals? And number three, did you trade any government classified material with these criminals? Because if you did, then I'll execute your two SOBs right now. <laughs> Well, swear to God, we did not do anything. <laughs> well, aren't y'all some two good, nice little boys? All right, now y'all have a good day. Be careful going home now. <laughs> no, the personality swap is crazy. So then after this, some time passes. He literally watched his lust die. Bro, standing behind the corner like, hmm, should I go in there and help her? Or should I keep my cover? I mean, I don't want to blow my cover that I'm a whole ass humongous in it. I mean, her creature's not even really all that. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. So then later on after this, they end up trying to go hunt down Scar. Bradley's in this alley and he's like, let me come on and bring your fat ass out here. Yes, sir. Are we going to be able to eat them as a snack? So then Longfall and Ring end up intervening. And here come Bradley. Well, what the hell do we got here? Looks like some foreign invaders in my country. I'ma need to see your visas and your passports. But you know what, never mind, Fuck that. I'll just deport you in a body bag. So bro, this is on Jesus Christ! Nigga hit the dash from zero to a hundred! And he's looking at Ling like, now, 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 where the hell you think you go? Now the only way you leaving my country is in a body bag. So he starts swinging and he used Glutton to hit him over to the other building. So then he goes over to him and starts saying, now listen here, I need you to stop resisting because I had some questions for you. Question number one, who the f*** are you? Number two, why 
are you here? And number three, weren't you in one of my goddamn jail cells like four episodes ago? Well, I mean, uh, your security is kind of ass, so I mean, I broke out kind of easily. Well, aren't you a copy, some bitch? You're a man. Ah! Bam! Break your ass back here! But then Bradley throws a sword at him, then he says, hmm, looks like your flashbang worked on my other eye, but this one, <laughs> well, you see, I got tack mask on this one. Now then, boy, I need you to stop resisting. So please comply, then you can die. But they ended up having a grenade, so they ended up escaping Bradley. And he's like, well, shucks, aren't they some clever bastards? So he keeps on tracking them down forever. And the only way they were able to escape him was for Lan Fong to cut off her arm and strap it to a dog so it would throw the scent off of her track. And he's just looking in disgust like, hmm, well, ain't this some shit, little crafty bastards? Exhibit A. Exhibit B. Alright, now so look. Before we get into Exhibit C, which is probably some of the most unadulterated, insane shit you will ever see in your life, we have to get through Exhibit B, which is this man's origins and him literally committing Order 66. So this man Bradley was raised in a lab with a bunch of other little niggas for the sole purpose to become the Fury. So they basically had these little niggas trapped up in the Red Room on some Black Widow sh training day and night with these creepy ass doctors. Look at Dog, bro just stabbed him and he over his shoulder like, Oh yes, very nice. Don't worry. He's just a bitch nigga here to help you with your goals. But obviously the true purpose of all this was for father to put a philosopher stone in somebody, make him the humunculus of wrath and roll the entire country. So a bunch of people died during the process because they couldn't withstand his power. But Bradley survived getting shot up with this damn Captain America super soldier serum and this man became Captain America. Well, no, he just became Wrath in the Fury. So during the Ishvalan War, caused by this absolute crack baby, this man Bradley issues Order 3066. Now you may be wondering, oh, what does that mean? Well, look at the last two numbers. This man executed Order 66. So he had state alchemists, including crazy ass bastards like Kimberly, this absolute psychopath, to basically exterminate the Ishbalan people. So after they were just completely slaughtered, their high priest ends up surrendering to Bradley. So he wants Bradley to kill him so he can stop slaughtering his people. But then this man Bradley said, well ain't that some pathetic shit. Do you really think your single life is important as these other niggas? Now you listen here, buckaroo. I couldn't give a damn about you or your people. So do yourself a favor and f*** off. <sighs> fuck you. You shall be struck down by the hammer of God. <laughs> God? Hey, hey, y'all hearing this shit right now? <laughs> Talk about he gonna strike me down. Hey, why ain't he done it yet? Oh, oh, wait, exactly. Cause he's a bunch of baloney. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. That's right, I said it. Do it yourselves, you rat bastard pusses. Yeah, uh, this man Bradley has committed some absolute atrocities. They were literally killing these people to make philosopher stones. So now we go back to the present day. So the government starts moving forward with their plan. Bradley basically got this man Mustang under a hostage situation. Dude disbanded his entire company then started telling him, you know, I really can't stand you, damn humans. Y'all really do piss me off. Oh, and also that thick shawty Risa, she's my personal assistant now. So I can keep a close eye on it, if you know what I mean, Mustang. Then later that day, he calls Ed and Allen there and starts saying, Now listen here, you two little uppity ass boys. Y'all little rambunctious fatherless and motherless children have been pissing me off since day one. That's why your mama dead and your daddy went to go get milk and never came back. So y'all are perfect candidates for the sacrifice. No, fuck this. How about I just quit? Now, you see, I can't allow you to do that, boy. <laughs> well, I just did. What's that shot you like again? Uh, Winry. Yeah, yeah, her. I'll fucking kill that bitch. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Now, that's what I thought. Now, run along, boys. Oh, but Alphonse, just one sec. <laughs> 
my bad. I thought you was hiding somebody in there again. You're dismissed. And now nah, what's crazy? May was hiding in his suit the whole time. So then one night, Greed and Link's body runs up on Bradley and commits home invasion. Because he's having PTSD when Bradley came and spun his whole block. So Bradley's like, wait, what the fuck are you doing, Greed? Running up on my goddamn property. Boy, I don't beat your ass. So Bradley started beating this man and throwing him around and everything. And he was about to kill him, but Greed used that army man hockey. And he was like, nah, gee, this ain't it. Hey, ho, where the hell you think you going? You just gonna spin my block, you leave? Well, let you pussy. So then after this, Bradley went away to a training exercise. So he's on the way back coming on the Polar Express. But Roy's rebellion set him up and caught this man lacking. And they ended up blowing up the tracks. Seemingly killing this man. <laughs> Seemingly. Exhibit B. Exhibit C. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit C, Wrath of the Black Forces. So the rebellion to stop Father's plan looks like it was a success. The Fort Briggs men fully take over Central and it looks like they finally won. Well, uh, until somebody came back. Hello? Hello, is anybody on this line? Hello? Oh shit. Olivier, is that your fine ass on the end of this line? But well, anyway, let me get serious. Greetings, I'm back. And it looks like she is far out of control since I've been gone. That's it. As of now, I, King, motherfucking Bradley, will be personally taking control of this entire fucking operation. Cause it looks like you all get to get shit without me telling you. I'm going for that fucking day and they take over my goddamn house. Goddamn rebel scum, I'll show you. Oh, where's he coming from? <laughs> He's coming through the front door! Hang up the damn phone. Who's my nigga? King Lou Bradley! <laughs> rebel criminals of my property, bag your ass up. <gasps> yes, sir. All oh, this damage control. I hope these rebels have insurance. Cause they gon' need it. So this man Bradley is about to storm his own castle. Look at dog rolling up his sleeves. But then he's like, did these rebel scum really think I would just walk in the back door of my whole goddamn house? I think I'll walk through the front. Thank you very much. So bro, hit the dash and he is deflecting bullets. Oh, hell nah. Don't cut the pink shell in half. Look at the collateral damage. Bro, hit a triple collateral on some dudes. I was just running their own business. <laughs> Man, that's a terrible way to just go out. So the dude in the tank like, oh, hell no, I ain't signed up for this. I backed this bitch up. Slow motion. Jesus, we need a medic. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> oh damn! There ain't nothing you can do. It's just you gonna have to take that L, bro. He ain't going out without a fight. Tank and came out of that hole unscathed, nah, bro. And he just walking in. They are just terrified. 
And the thing is, these are not just regular soldiers. These are Fort Briggs men. They was hyped up to be the rawest of the raw. And they looking like some real bitches right now. Well, I mean, shoot, I would be too if I just saw a man take out a tank. So then this man Buccaneer ran at him. But Bradley said, we equal. Sit your dumb ass down. And bro, still walking up. Then he got up and he bashed him again. Nah, bro, this man Bradley's one of the coldest men to ever do it, bro. Bro, just nonchalantly wash a buccaneer. Dude was built up as a hard ass nigga, too. So then he looks at the old dude and says, Now, what's the issue? Your country's leader has returned. So open the goddamn door, Lieutenant. <laughs> I'm gonna fold. I'm gonna fold. Oh, my homie's gonna call me a bitch. Oh, I better go in like a bitch. What's wrong, Lieutenant? You gonna piss your pants or something? But then Greed ends up showing up for round three. So they start scrapping and this man Bradley is playing no games, took off the eye patch and just started going crazy. So then the other dude starts shooting him, but Dog activates Ultra Instinct, washes the soldiers, then gives a sniffy to Buccaneer! Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, pause. Hold on, let me redo that. Uh, he, he stabbed him, he stabbed him in the gut. So we're no. <laughs> gut. God, bro. Anyways, bro picks up some knives from a dead body. And bro's like, hmm, this ain't my weapon of choice, but it'll do. So then the old grandpa ninja ends up pulling up. And Bradley's just looking at him like, what the hell this old man gonna do? He think he gonna make a difference? <laughs> what an idiot. So he starts grabbing with both of them. So he catch the old man lacking and he said, hmm, looks like you're older than I am. But this is as old as you gonna get. <laughs> But then Grandpa Fu ends up getting up again and tries to blow himself up. But Bradley perfectly cut the fuses of the grenades. Oh my goodness gracious, bro. So yeah, that man was done. But Buccaneer repaid the favor and stabbed him. So Green started running at Bradley, but Bradley was still opening the can of whoop ass on. So they're about to fall off the palace, but Longfong saves Green. And the soldier shot Bradley and he lost his grip and fell down into the water. So after this man caused complete chaos and killed Fu and basically Buccaneer, you gotta think, oh, he's dead. He must have just drowned to death. No. Hell no. No. This man pulls up on Mustang and is still kicking. <laughs> Holy moly, this man's durability is out of this world. The dog's like, well, what's good, Mustang? You know, Mustang, you humans really do piss me off. I, I can't stand it when I can't predict how you act. But anyway, bring your little stupid ass over here. So Bradley pins Mustang down and he's like, well, Time to make you a sacrifice. So he ends up making Rory go through equivalent exchange, and he basically ended up making the man blind because he lost his sight. So after this, Bradley's not doing so good. He's taking too much damage, and that brother is starting to bleed out. So he's like, well, come on, then. Who wants to dance with the Fuhrer? Who wants to kill me? Come on, step up. Don't be a bitch. So then Scar ends up stepping up. So Bradley's like, oh, yes, oh, yes. You see, Sky, I've been waiting for this day. Ever since your uppity ass came running up and making a ruckus itself. Now you ready to join your people, nigga? Come in his face! <laughs> so Scar punched me Bradley like, Come on, you goddamn pussy! Swing! You can hit me harder than that now, can't you pussy? So they start really, really scrapping. And this man Bradley is on the verge of death, but he looks like he's having the time of his life. It got to the point where this man Scar had to use alchemy. Man, see, this John is terrible and had to use it. Bradley's like, hmm, ain't you an interesting boy? So they continue to fight, and at this point, Bradley's just talking shit. Bruh saying, where's your god at, huh? Where was he at when I killed all your people? Answer me, nigga! Think of you using alchemy. Have you abandoned your god? So Bradley gets scarred down. And he's about to kill him, but before he does it, he says, And you think your god exists? That nigga ain't shit. But then an act of God happens. The shun signs and Scar hits Bradley. And he finally finishes that man. But he still grabs a piece of his sword and stabs him. Jesus Christ, bro, this man is a demon. Dog said, if I'm going out, then I'm going out with a bang. So while Bradley is on his last breath, he's like, <sighs> well, damn, I had a good life, I'll tell you that. So then Lon Fawn comes over and she says, Did you even love anybody in your life? <laughs> well, I tell you, my wife had some really nice coochie, I'll tell you that, boo-boo. 
Yeah. And see, look, girl, girl. <laughs> you was asking all them questions. You ain't even gonna get vengeance for your grandfather because I'm about to die. <laughs> so you can suck my dick from the other side. Damn. Well, I guess I'll just stay in my box till my haul is ready. Alrighty. Well, that's just gonna about do for this one. This nigga is a fucking menace. This nigga took out a fucking tank. Anyways, though, I'll see y'all in the next video. Till then, peace out.